Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dryer door latch. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door latch. The door latch is mounted on the dryer frame. It's what actually holds the door closed. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if it's damaged on the inside and the door strike isn't catching on it. First thing we have to do is remove the console screws. They're on the top. They're torque 20 and we're going to take all four of them out. Now that we have the screws out, we can tilt the console forward and lift it up a little bit to get these tabs out of the top so we can take the top off later. Next we can open up the door and we have to remove the two screws that hold the top panel to the front panel. They're Phillips screws, so we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver. Now that we have the screws out, we can close the dryer door. Now we can lift the top off. All you have to do is lift up on a little bit and then pull towards you so the top releases and then you can lift it off. Now we can take off the screws that hold in the front panel. They're Phillips screws. There's one in each side. Now that we have the screws out, we can pull the front panel forward and lift it off the mounting tabs at the bottom and spin it out of the way so we can work on it. In order to get to the part, we have to remove this upper and lower piece. All we have to do is snap them out on the upper one. You can reach up here and release these tabs and then lift it off. On the lower one, we want to make sure we take this piece out first. And then we can unsnap the rest of the duct. and then lift it up so these tabs come out through these slots. All right, now we want to open up the dryer door so we can grab the latch. All you have to do is press down on the top and the bottom to release this little tab right here. Once you have those pushed through, you can take your needle nose and compress these little tabs and press it out. Here's the old door latch next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new door latch in, all you have to do is line it up and snap it in. And then we can close the door and put it back together. All right, to put the lower piece back on, we're going to make sure that these tabs go behind the panel like we said. So make sure you get them into that little cutout and then behind the panel. And then you want to lower it down. Until you're even with right here. And then you just snap it into place. Once you've gone around and made sure it's all snapped in, then we can reach over and put this tab back in. To put the upper portion in, we want to line these tabs up so they slide into the lower section. And then rotate it up, and then you're probably going to have to lift up on the light bulb so it can slide into place. And then snap the whole piece in so you hear it click so you know it's locked in. Then we can put the front panel back on and set it onto the tabs at the bottom. and put the screws in. When you put the top on, you need to make sure that the top piece here goes underneath this piece and make sure that this tab goes up into this slot.
Now we can open up the dryer door and replace the two long screws that holds the top to the front. All you have to do is push them up into the hole and make sure they go into the top and tighten them down. And we can close the door. All right, then we can put the control panel back on. So we can lift it up and line up the three tabs and push them down into the slot. And then we can put in the four Torque 20 screws that hold it in place. Now that we have everything back together, we can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.